years. It's 1841 and Mickey Pit has collapsed, trapping many miners inside. For more information, let's go back in time to our reporter Elizabeth, who is at the scene. So here we are outside the mine where the collapse has caused devastation in this small village. We are now going to talk to Georgina Stokoe, one of the survivors. Can you explain what happened? I was going about my work and I heard a loud noise. The rock was falling around me so I just had to make a run for it. Did all your friends make it out? No, I was lucky. Four of them were trapped but there was nothing I could do to save them. It was heartbreaking. What effect will this have on the village? It will have a devastating effect. Everyone knows someone who died. It'll be a long time to put this behind us. Our sympathies go to all those affected by this tragedy. Thank you for your time, Miss Stokoe. Now back to the studio. Thank you, Elizabeth. What conditions like down the pit? Let's go back in time once again to meet Victoria, who will tell us what our conditions like down the mine. Over to you, Victoria. My name is Victoria and I am a trapper. My job is to sit and wait by a door inside the mine and when I hear the carts coming I open it to let them through and let air into the mine. It's small, horrible and stinky and I'm worried about the poisonous gases that build up and the dust that gets into my eyes and lungs. I'm not allowed to have a candle with me because it might cause an explosion so I have to work 12 hour shifts or more in the pitch dark. Sometimes I hear the knocker. It lives in the mine and some people think it's the devil. There are lots of miners who have just disappeared and many of us think they have been taken by the knocker. Our reporter Elizabeth is now with the owner of the mine, Mr Hewitt, to get his reaction to the accident. Over to you Elizabeth. What are you doing to help those affected by this terrible accident? Obviously I support their families, but the mining is very dangerous and they hear things all the time. How does a collapse affect your business? Well obviously we can't send miners down the mines right now, but it won't be long until it's up and running. How do you feel about young children working down the mine? Does them no harm. Little hard work doesn't kill anyone. Thank you for your time, Mr Hewitt. Now back to the studio. Thank you, Elizabeth. But this isn't the only accident to happen down Mickley Pit. Many people died doing this dangerous work. William McLaughlin, age 14, killed 1868, run over by a set of tubs. Richard Milton, age 30, died 1892, killed by a stone. Nicholas Newton, age 40, killed 16th of March, 1871, by a falling stone. Thomas Durkowidge, 55, and William Durkowidge, 46, both died 2nd of March 1927 as a shot firing accident buried both men in the mine. John William Taylor, age 24, died 30th of July 1902, killed when the key slipped when tightening and up and he fell into the driving ropes and carried into a 14 feet wheel.